The other aspect of management is this correction of oxygenation. If you have consolidation, you are placing air in the alveoli with inflammatory fluid. And that causes hypoxia because it generates what we call a right-to-left shunt. And what I mean by that is that blood coming up the pulmonary artery, which is deoxygenated, will reach the area with the consolidation in it, will go through that area, but because there's no air in the alveoli, that blood will not be oxygenated, and therefore it will reach the pulmonary veins in a deoxygenated state. And you end up mixing the deoxygenated blood coming from the consolidated lung with the oxygenated blood coming from the remaining normal lung. And the consequence of that is that you add mixture of hypoxic blood and normoxic blood, and the combination two of the two will dictate how hypoxic the patient will be. So in this example, for example, we have a patient who has quite extensive consolidation, and therefore the deoxygenated blood shunting through that consolidated lung has a significant effect on the arterial oxygen concentration reducing it down to about 80%. So oxygen needs to be corrected, and we do that using masks, and if necessary, mechanical ventilation. Another important physiological upset that occurs in patients with pneumonia is due to the sepsis, due to the septic shock potentially that can develop in a minority of patients with acute bacterial pneumonia. Before that, actually many patients, because they've been breathing fast, unable to drink and eat, they're dehydrated. So dehydration is common, and beyond that, some patients will develop septic shock with persisting hypotension even after they've been rehydrated. And acute kidney injury is is very common in these patients as a consequence of these problems. So patients with pneumonia will require intravenous fluids to rehydrate them if they have got a low blood pressure or clinically they're dehydrated. And if the low blood pressure persists despite rehydration, then you you need to consider inotropes and admission to intensive care to treat for septic shock and to avoid the downstream consequences of having hypotension, increasing kidney injury, et cetera, et cetera. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.